Are we ready? Das Barnabas Children's Center ist ein Schul- und Waisenhauskomplex im Süden Kenias und liegt rund 30 Kilometer nordwestlich von Mombasa. Das Projekt wurde im Jahr 2010 von dem kenianischen Projektleiter Harrison Gona gegründet und wird heute von rund 600 Schülerinnen und Schülern vom Kindergarten bis zur 8. Klasse besucht. Der Schulkomplex ist auf zwei Standorte aufgeteilt, das Barnabas A in Utange sowie das 10 Kilometer entfernt gelegene Barnabas B in dem kleinen Ort Loma. Neben den Lehrkräften beschäftigt das Projekt mehrere Betreuerinnen, eine Sozialarbeiterin, einen Koch sowie Sicherheitspersonal. Aktuell sind somit 29 Mitarbeiterinnen und Mitarbeiter an dem Projekt beschäftigt. My name is what? My name is Adelila Samuel Bokoro. I learn in Barnabas Mission School and I'm in class 8. And my class teacher is Tisho Cheng. I'll do my final exams on March date 8 and I, I'm expecting to do very well and perform very well and get 420 marks and I want to go to Alliance Girls High School and I want to be a neurosurgeon. Mit Absolvieren der achten Klasse erhalten die Schülerinnen und Schüler den Primary School Abschluss, welcher in etwa mit dem deutschen Realschulabschluss vergleichbar ist. Anschließend können sie eine weiterführende Highschool besuchen, welche den Weg zur Universität oder in den Berufseinstieg ebnet. Hey, my name is Sami Juma and I'm known as China. I am 23 years old and I am a former Barnabas Mission School student. I am pursuing uh, information technology by the support of Barnabas Mission School Center and I will take you through Barnabas, you see the facilities that are here, and also the teachers, the employees, and we show you how Barnabas has grown all these years till now. Thank you so much and join me. Thank you. Here at Magda's Happy Place, uh, where the kids at Barnabas A have uh, their gym so that they can do their daily choices. Uh, what is your name? My name is Peter. Why are you here? I'm here because I'm doing this to give me Oh, he wants to get fit. Eh? What is your name? What is your favorite meal? Meal. Yes. Rice and beans. And we have rice and beans here. It's now lunch time. The kids at Banabase orphanage are having their meals. Come in. Wow, it is very delicious. The kids today are having rice, which is a very good menu, and beans. How is the taste of the food? Fine. Very fine. Is it delicious? Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. Is the food delicious? Yes. Can I have one more? Uh, okay. Mm. Can I have one more? Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Very delicious. Thank you. Hello, what is your name, your age, your class, and your role model? 
My name is Peace Mboya. I'm in class six. Uh, my role model is my class teacher. Yeah. And uh, what are your thoughts about the sponsorship program you get here? I'm so privileged to have the sponsors as my help because a lot of children, they are there outside, they're not getting education, but I i am here, I'm getting free education, I'm getting free uniform, so I'm so happy to be in Barnabas. Who do you want to become when you grow up in the future? I want, I would like to become a law lecturer and um, so that I may come and help my family. And uh, that was peace, she wants to be a law lecturer. Thanks. Now we are at the orphanage. Das angeschlossene Waisenhaus wurde 2011 gegründet und über die Jahre immer weiter ausgebaut. Heute bietet es Platz für 50 Kinder und Jugendliche und verfügt neben einem Mädchen und einem jungen Schlafsaal über eine Küche, einen Speiseraum und sanitäre Anlagen. The school sanitary facilities are okay and the orphanage sanitary facilities are also okay and in total remarks all the toilets are well and in good shape. We have sufficient water, we have also electricity so that they can use these facilities also in the night hours. And this is the office of the director. May I come in, please? Oh. Hello, Mr. Tina. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good, good. Okay, my name is uh, Mr. Harrison Gona, and uh, I am the uh, project manager of Barnabas Children's Center. I come from a very humble big, uh, background uh, in Cliffy County. So my parents are both uh, farmers, and uh, in my education, passed through a lot of problems. But finally, I'm here, yeah? That's a very touching story. So yeah. maybe you could tell us uh, the progress that I've made so far since the, the you started this school and till now. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, progress that we have made from 2010 when we began Barnabas. We started uh, in a very humble beginning and it was uh, uh, re really hard, you see. But through the support of uh, our friends, we are able to come where we are now. Telling you, Mr. China, the greatest achievement that we have gotten again is about now the sponsorship program. You see, children, uh, m most of them were not able to go to school, but uh, you see now on the onset of the uh, sponsorship program, uh, they are able to come to school and also get a meal at lunch time, you see. So they don't have to, to worry about their school fees. And uh, even those that uh, do well, you see, they've proceeded to high school. So that is one of the greatest achievements that we have so far, that children can remain in school without being interfered in their education. So, so. Welcome. Now we are going to visit the family of one of the sponsored child at Barnabas and we'll take you through about the family and how they live here. Welcome. So here we are. Karibuni. Uka jipata hapa na ukapata usaidisi. Nur rund 30 Prozent der Familien können sich die Schulgebühren für ihre Kinder leisten. 70 Prozent besuchen die Schule daher unentgeltlich. Der Großteil der mitarbeitenden Gehälter, viele laufende Kosten und einmalige Bauprojekte an der Schule und dem Waisenhaus werden über den Barnabas Children's Center e.V. aus Deutschland finanziert. I had a talk with the mom here who is also one of the privileged parents to be supported by Barnabas. She had issues but now she is now very happy to have received the sponsorship of her kids because they are performing very well on herself. That's all we had. Thanks. Now we are moving into the last interviewee as a student here at Barnabas Mission School. What is your name, your age, your class and who is your role model? My name is Thomas, I'm 13 years old, I'm in class 7. My role model is my music teacher, teacher Raja. What are your thoughts uh, about the sponsorship program you get here as a Barnabas Mission School student? I feel so great, I feel very motivated because I get free uniform, books and a place to call home. 
And what do you want to become when you grow up in the future? When I grow up, I want to become an aerospace engineer so that I can help the poor children in the street. And that's all we have for you today. And indeed, now we have students who have very big plans for their future and who they want to become. And indeed, I'm praying for them so that they can implement their dreams and become someone so that they can be really independent in the future. And uh, indeed, dreams are very valid. They are valid. Thank you so much. Finally, we are here at Barnabas Farm and it has been a 30 minutes drive from the Barnabas main point. Now we are here at the farm and I would like to know how big this farm is and also how it is doing since then. Yeah, it was kind of a, a long travel on a motorbike, mm -hmm. but we are finally here. So yeah. this is a Barnabas sustainable farm and uh, it's uh, around five acres so all around there going up there when we farm our plan is to get some food or vegetables or fruits for the children at Barnabas so that we don't have to buy everything you see hey. going now <laughs> Bye.